Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And we just got a new software update for our white Model 3 hardware 2.5 and our red Model 3 hardware 3.0. So come on, let's go check out what is new with this new update. We are gonna start in the hardware 2.5 car and the first thing we see is additional vehicle info. We'll get into that in a little bit. Voice commands, which we saw in the last update. Phone improvements, and I read through this, nothing seems new here, although there was room for improvement as far as the phone improvements go, and we'll get into that. Camp mode, so I guess that's different from the keep climate on how it was before. Camp mode adds uh, one extra feature that I found, which I'll go over in a second here and Tesla theater has been updated with Twitch, which I think also came within the last update. So it looks like we're getting some repeats here because I do now see Stardew Valley, which I know was in the last update and I do owe you guys a live session of playing this game. I did promise that in the last software update video. So leave me a comment down below if you're still looking for that. Voice keyboard tracks we've seen before, save dash cam clips on honk, driver profile changes now includes traffic and some other navigation preferences. And here is the first thing new for this software update, additional vehicle info, which is fantastic if you're gonna buy a used Tesla from somebody, because now you're able to verify all this information, such as the audio system, is it a premium audio system or is it the regular audio system? It also shows you if a garage door opener was installed and what autopilot computer it's running, which is very useful as somebody says, oh yeah, I got the new FSD computer, but in reality, they actually didn't. So kudos to Tesla for including this with the newest software update. Now let's jump into camp mode. So this looks very similar to what we've seen before. This is not a new feature that Tesla added, although I do think they added some new functionality based on the release notes. If we look closer at that, we can see we can now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. I also like the little point that they put at the end, big batteries rock. Something else that I noticed with camp mode, if you turn it on and then get out of the vehicle, that the center touch display actually remains on, so that way you have access to the controls. You know, it's camping, you're in the car, you want the car touchscreen to stay on all the time. So really cool feature. I don't know if that's been always in the camping mode. Let me know down in the comment section below if you know that it's been always in the camping mode. You can see I open and close the door there and it's still the center display comes on. If we go back into that setting and switch off the camping mode and then get out of the car, then we're gonna notice that the center display turns off like normal. Now let's jump into voice commands and see if they've improved with this software update. Open the rear camera. Close the rear camera. Open the glove box. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I extensively test the voice commands and every single time I set a voice command, it was able to detect my voice, unlike the last software update where it failed constantly. Really happy to see that Tesla was able to fix this issue. The phone app is a different story. It still will not display group messages in a group format, nor will it show you all of your messages on the recent messages screen, only the recent messages that you haven't responded to yet in your Tesla that was received by your Tesla. So hoping that they improve that soon. Now let's jump into the red Model 3. That is the hardware 3.0 and see if their release notes are any different. So the first thing is identical additional vehicle information that we saw in the white Model 3, but driving visualization improvements. Now I tested this, there's no new objects, still just the trash cans, stop signs, and stop lights available to see on the center display while you're driving. Voice commands like we saw in the 2.5, phone improvements, camp mode, Tesla theater, Stardew Valley, which we saw in the last update, along with Batgammon, voice keyboard, tracks, I hope I'm saying that right, save dash cam on honk, and all the other features that were in the 2.5 hardware car. 
So the only difference in this update with the 3.0 hardware car is the driving visualization preview. And here is the additional vehicle information screen. It shows you that it has the full self-driving computer and no external amplifier on the audio system as this is a standard range plus with partial premium interior. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.